Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here to simplify the ever confusing topic of facial nerve palsy, upper motor neuron versus lower motor neuron. So all you need to remember is the mnemonic UCL Live. The football fans would understand this. Remember UCL Live. Rather than that, you remember UCL Live, L-I-E. So what does UCL stand for? U for upper motor neuron, C contralateral, L lower half right so if there is right facial nerve upper motor neuron lesion it's going to be the left lower quarter or the half that's going to be affected now coming to lower motor neuron remember lie l i e lower motor neuron i for dipsilateral entire half is gone so if there is right sided element palsy of the facial nerve ipsilateral that is entire right side entire half will be gone the upper and the lower as well so when you are given an image based question, how do you identify is look at the forehead, right? If you see that the muscles here are active on both sides of the forehead, that means this is basically not your Bell's palsy or a lower motor neuron palsy because in lower motor neuron, the upper side is also gone while in upper motor neuron, the forehead is spared, right? So just remember UCL lie, upper motor neuron, contralateral lower and lie low motor neuron, ipsilateral, entire half is gone. I hope you found this trick helpful. If yes, stay connected with me for more such tricks and hacks. Thank you.